Russia issues nuclear warning to U.S. over missile threat. Russia will respond to U.S. deployment of medium-range missiles in the Asia-Pacific region. The country's foreign minister has said, adding that Moscow will consider additional steps for Russia's nuclear weapons arsenal, according to Newsweek. The implementation by the Americans of plans to deploy ground-based medium and shorter-range missiles will not remain without our reaction. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov told the state-run RIA Novosti news agency. In mid-April, the U.S. military said it had deployed the mid-range capability missile system to the northern Philippines, marking what it described as a landmark deployment for the new capability. Late last year, a senior U.S. general had said the military was planning to deploy an mid-range capability battery to the Pacific at some point during 2024. I am sure that other countries in the Asia-Pacific region will also receive requests to provide hospitable territory for similar types of weapons, Lavrov told Russian state media. The abandonment of unilateral self-restrictions introduced by Russia after the U.S. withdrawal from the INF Treaty is inevitable, Lavrov said. We do not exclude additional steps in the field of nuclear deterrence because American forward-based missiles will be able to cover command posts and locations of our nuclear forces. The U.S. missile system will create a serious security challenge for Russia. Lavrov added, the mid-range capability located in the Philippines is not a significant security threat to Russia, and Lavrov's remarks are likely intended as a show of solidarity with key ally China, said William Alberk, visiting fellow with the Stimson Center think tank in Washington. There are no missiles being deployed that can strike Russian territory from the Philippines, Alberk told Newsweek. Shen Jian, Chinese ambassador for disarmament, said that Beijing had concerns about the U.S.'s plan to deploy such missiles in the Asia-Pacific on a regular basis, which will ramp up insecurity, generate risks, and eventually harm the security interests of all. Beijing's foreign ministry said last month that the deployment of the mid-range capability missile incited military confrontation and jeopardized peace in the region. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky visited Kharkiv and visited the publishing house that was hit by a missile attack by the Russian army on May 23rd. Zelensky said that as a result of the incident, the industrial complex was destroyed and tens of thousands of books were burned. Recalling that seven people died and 21 people were injured, the president said that Russia is waging a war against humanity. Russia's terrorism must never go unanswered. 50,000 books were burned as a result of the attack on Kharkiv. It shows that Russia is waging a war against humanity and aspects of normal life. Russian terrorists kill children and adults, destroy towns and villages, and wreak havoc in places where normal life once existed. Russian terrorism must be defeated. All we need for this is the determination of Western leaders, sufficient air defense systems to protect Ukrainian cities, and all our long-range strike systems, says Zelensky. Поэтому учебники, литература и так далее сегодня просто это национальная проблема становится. Мы не сможем их подпечатать в этом году 100% в срок, если мы быстро не восстановим. Thank you.